soon as I got up, like two seconds later, the car dashed into the Coney Island. All I seen was like bricks falling, everything on top of me. I didn't know what hit it. I thought the building was collapsing. I didn't know what was going on. With the help of a cane, it is a miracle. Marnesia Bracy is standing here to tell this story. When I looked up, I seen my daddy above me, like trying to get, you know, everything off of me. I kind of blacked out at that moment. I woke up at the hospital. What was going through your mind when you first woke up in the hospital? I thought I died and came back to life. Marnesia's life changed instantly Saturday morning, less than an hour into the new year. We froze this surveillance video to show her at the front counter of Azorba's Coney Island on Detroit's east side when an SUV came barreling through the entrance and hit her. After two days in the hospital, Marnesia is home. How are you feeling now? Um, I'm okay. I'm happy to be here. I'm a little scared, I don't know. As Marnesia's dad and others helped her, surveillance video shows the two people responsible for the crash outside the restaurant. First, a man staggers out of the driver's side. Then a woman gets out, has some choice words for the driver, and hops in the driver's seat to leave the scene before cops arrive. I wanna thank everybody that's praying for me. Um, thank everybody that helped get the bricks off of me. I'm just thankful to be here. Plywood remains in place at the Coney Island's entrance. The restaurant is closed, but the owner promises to rebuild. As for Marnesia Bracy, she has a long road to recovery ahead. What injuries do you have? Um, well, this leg right here, my knee is sprained, my hand is sprained. I'm having trouble with my back and my shoulder. Detroit police know who both the suspects are in this case. They will likely have warrants out for their arrest. One of them is in the hospital. Meanwhile, Marnesia Bracy has a GoFundMe. We have shared the link on our website, fox2detroit.com. On Detroit's east side, I'm Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.